So one word, no TBO. No, we recommend a 2,000 hour TBO. It's not your father's Buick. <laughs> it's a, it, this is totally different than engines were um, when auto conversions were first done. Um, one thing about the Suzuki base motors is Suzuki used them in outboard motors where they're rated 6200 RPM continuous wide open throttle. So the, the misconception that the engines in cars aren't used in high power continuously, yeah, that's partially true, but you know, the, these the engines the have been used in high power, full throttle applications. Motor. Most of the people that have done auto conversions in the past have used um, junkyard engines out of cars that have been in a wreck and are totaled. And the engine may be okay, but you don't know. The other thing is most wrecking yards don't handle the engines very well. It may sit outside or um, it may, even before the junkyard gets it, it may be sitting outside, um, you know, in the weather with the hood open or ripped off. So a lot of the conversion companies in the past, and even most of them today, start with an unknown engine. We start with the brand new engine and build it and blueprint it. Suzuki is the appropriate technology. Um, when we looked at the engines to convert, we visited Suzuki, Honda, um, Toyota, Volkswagen, and other uh, Mitsubishi. The Suzuki is the lightest um, engine in its displacement class. They use a uh, timing belt instead of a timing chain. That's in one cam instead of two, but they still have 16 valves. They don't have anything like variable valve timing and direct injection and um, uh, so other things that are not necessarily useful for our aircraft but are very useful for cars. So this is a simpler engine, but it has such things that you need, such as 16 valves, modern fuel injection. You want to avoid direct injection at all costs because you will have carbon fouling of the intake valves. Uh, not immediately, but after, you know, a couple hundred hours. The, the direct injection they direct the fuel directly into the cylinder, but while the valves are still open. So a little bit of that fuel comes back and hits the intake valve, causing carbon fouling. Ours injects the fuel onto the intake valve, keeping the valve clean at all time. And if you have carbon fouling, you can end up getting a stuck valve and sucking a valve, engine failure. Um, also, direct injection is great for low power, it gives better fuel economy, it can go ultra lean burn. But anytime you're over about 50% power, and we operate the engines and aircraft at higher power, they, um, they go stoichiometric or generally even rich as stoichiometric. And certain car companies such as Ford, Volkswagen, and um, Toyota, now because of that carbon fouling issue, have gone to dual injection direct for idle and low speed, and port injection for high speed like we use in an airplane. Um, and by the way, Suzuki has the booster jet, which is VVT and direct injection. We can get brand new Suzuki booster jet engines, but we don't do it because of the problems with the complexity and weight of VVT with no benefit for aircraft and the problems, liability issues of direct injection for aircraft. 75 horsepower is 140 pounds and $7,500. 100 horsepower, um, we both do low, profo low profile and upright, about 170, 175 pounds and from eight and a half to 10,000. Then the 15 is from about 10,000 to 12,000. And it's about 190 pounds actual weighed weight uh, ready to go for the low profile. Upright's a couple pounds lighter. Uh, much less than generally in a uh, legacy aircraft engine. We use things like uh, iridium fine wire plugs. Um, if you're running unleaded fuel, you can run 100 hour in interval for oil change. If you're running leaded fuel, you have to do 50 hour oil change intervals. Basically, 
it's oil change and that's about it. Uh, we recommend the belt replacement every five years or 500 hours. And it's more of, we've had an engine go 4,000 hours and at 4,000 hours they did not change the belts at all. They didn't change the spark plugs or anything. We recommend a 2,000 hour TBO. You can give us a call 772-240-4468 and a thousand dollar deposit locks in your price and delivery. Right now we're running about two to three months for most orders but some that we can do a little shorter depending on what it is. Usually high performance versions are at the longer end of that and standard uprights are at the lower end or even a month. Aeromomentum.com, uh, A-E-R-O-M-O-M-E-N-T-U-M.